Hello guys, a blessed uh, Sunday to all, it's Mike Padua and we're back to our latest weather analysis and this is for today's Sunday until Tuesday, May 5 to 7, 2024 this is our English uh, version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation Typhoon prepared the center in partnership with uh, Aboitis Power Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with You. If you're willing to know more about the program of BPI, just click on the link here or visit uh, via our Facebook uh, uh, video description. There's a link there towards uh, BPI Sustainable with You website. Also, one of the best hotels in the Bicol region, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. So let's begin with our update. It looks like the uh, heat of the uh, heat index or the warm heat index continues to prevail across the country. And we have here the uh, warm easterlies being uh, heat index of around 40 up to 48 degrees in various parts of the country without low, without any uh, Although uh, thunderstorms are beginning to flicker, but only very isolated. There is one here over uh, the mountainous areas of northern Luzon and some parts of Mindanao. But elsewhere, it's generally clear, sunny to uh, some cloudy conditions with no rain at all. But there are some areas with isolated ones that uh, have been recorded. Uh, in uh, some areas of the Philippine Islands, here in uh, Bicol region, there are some areas that also generated uh, quick uh, rain showers. Okay, and uh, we are now looking at the beginning of the uh, uh, cloudiness here near the equator across the Caroline Islands up to the Marshall Islands or over the federal states of Micronesia. And this uh, cloudiness is a sign that we are moving into the middle to last parts of May where the ITZJ will start to uh, become active right now it's just a new equatorial fluff but we are keeping an eye on this cloudiness for the next uh, five to seven days there might be a low pressure system forming here there's also the usual aggressive uh, American model which says it could become a typhoon okay and we are opening our uh, eyes over that uh, part of the basin for uh, further development of this cloudiness, okay? Uh, and I also, I could remember way back in 2004, there's this typhoon that formed here between May uh, 15 uh, onwards or earlier than May 15, 2004, which became uh, Super Typhoon Dindo and passed over northern, over the northern tip of uh, Catanduanes, and that was uh, such a powerful system. And let's hope that this uh, uh, potential uh, forecast of the American model will not extend into the other reliable computer models like the European model, uh, Australia, UK Met, and among others. And uh, we are uh, still observing a uh, possibility of a low pressure still when it comes to the European model moving into Mindanao uh, on uh, May uh, 15 or 14. But we are still uh, uh, at a very early stage. That's uh, more than 10 days to go. And likely the probability remains low and highly uncertain. Okay. So right now, we still uh, don't have any uh, developing LPA as of this time. All clear. We have here two final system departing the East Asia region. Okay. Uh, departing and the other one is approaching uh, Japan. Uh, bringing some rains and thunderstorms across Eastern China, South Korea, and the Western sections of Japan. Okay. And if you take a look now on the fast animation, there you go. This is now the area of concern that uh, we are keeping an eye within the next uh, five to ten days for, for possibility of the very first uh, tropical cyclone. But it's still early to tell, highly uncertain. 
only one model says it, says, says it so okay so we are keeping an eye on that uh, part of the uh, pacific now for the zoom in satellite animation this is the latest one for the past six hours beginning at 3 50 this afternoon until uh, nine o'clock and you can see uh, some developments of thunderstorm has occurred over the mountainous areas of uh, Cordillera administrative region moving into uh, Cagayan Valley and yeah, this is a much relief uh, uh, system bringing some rain showers and thunderstorms over portions of Isabela and uh, Cagayan while elsewhere there are small thunderstorms that uh, brought some heavy downpour over the central uh, northern sections of Zamboanga and uh, we have here the part in thunderstorm uh, after uh, bringing some rain showers and thunderstorms over after bringing some rains over northern Palawan is now over the west Philippine Sea there's also another one here over the northern Carga region moving into uh, Surigao uh, del Sur so those are the little or the small thunderstorms that uh, bringing some rain showers. There's this very small one here over in southern Quezon. Okay, and so far uh, here in Naga City, there's a, a quick uh, rainfall uh, early this morning, uh, early this afternoon. Okay, so uh, but. but that happened only over uh, Conce conception grande okay a uh, quick rainfall that occurred around 1 pm but that's the only barangay so it's quite a very small portion of that uh, cloudiness that we experienced during the afternoon okay and uh, if we take a look now at the uh, highest heat index and temperature obser observations across uh, naga city and the rest of the Bicol region using our Automated weather station at Typhoon 2000, highest still at Liboton, 48 degrees. Uh, a trend of uh, more than one degree has occurred. Okay. So it shows a uh, past 24 hour trend, it has increased by one degree over Liboton. Yesterday is only 47. And also over Kalabanga, increase of one degree from 46 to 47. And the uh, temperature this is the highest so far, 34.1. San Felipe and uh, Mabulo, there's a drop of uh, heat index from uh, uh, 1 degree a day before today. Uh, 1 degree since yesterday. So in San Felipe from 46 became 45. Mabulo from 45 down to 44. And also... Uh, in Basel Camarini Norte, it's still the same at 44. Concepcion Grande and Concepcion Pequeña, it has dropped down to just 1 degree uh, temperature heat index. 44 and 43 respectively. Uh, Sangai, 43. Ligaspi and Sorsogon both have, uh, have 42 degrees heat index. And lastly, over Virac is at 40 degrees and is slightly uh, better over the island uh, province of uh, Cananuanes. A drop of 4 degrees from Fibius of 44 yesterday. Okay, the reason behind this is the intensifying easterly wind flow. Uh, this kind of winds will benefit or decrease uh, heat index for the next uh, few days if it does persist to continue but since the uh, atmosphere is erratic and chaotic so we expect fluctuations of the heat index for the next uh, 7 to 10 days unless we have a uh, cyclone or thunderstorms that will occur here's Pampagasa Metro Manila is still between 41 to 43 and the highest heat index observed today May 5 was over at Q1 Eastern Summer and Aparigayan both have 47 degrees Celsius of heat index 
uh, forecast uh, by tomorrow it will become uh, again a high of 47 over Taka, uh, Dagupan and Apari uh, both uh, areas on uh, May 6 and May 7 while here in Kamarini Sur uh, based on the latest from the uh, Pag-asa let me see here oh, here you go the uh, Heat index for tomorrow will be 45 or repeatedly, while in other areas it will be above 40s. Okay, and on Tuesday it will be uh, decreased to uh, 42. But so far, those are est estimates. It depends on the amount of humidity and temperature in your respective locality. Now for the wind. And pressure forecast from the European model for the next three days until Wednesday, May 8. Tomorrow afternoon, May 6. We could see here some light northeasterly trade winds across uh, the eastern uh, sections of uh, the Philippine Islands. And we have here uh, a developing uh, surface or near equatorial trough, which could become a low pressure system in the coming days. May 7, still northeasterly wind flow, uh, trade winds across the eastern sections of the country, developing LPA here, southeast of Palau, outside of Par, and on Wednesday, it's still developing as a shallow or even a trough here, southeast of Palau, while the winds over the eastern section of the country has uh, diminished. Very light winds from the northeast to east and variable winds elsewhere. Light northeasterly winds will be expected over extreme northern zone because a developing of a developing high pressure cell over eastern China. And if we uh, forward this between uh, uh, Monday, next next Monday, okay, May uh, 11. Let me see. Here, May, uh, sorry, okay, May 13. Next, next Monday, which now the LPA. And on May 14, Tuesday, that LPA will start to, uh, still elongated, not quite, uh, fully organized, and it's moving towards, uh, eastern or southern Mindanao. So if we take a look at the uh, European model, there's nothing. But if we are going to use the American model, it shows here an active LPA on May 9, May 10. It could become a tropical uh, depression. Uh, Saturday, May 11, it could become a tropical storm. May 12, entering power as a, a severe tropical storm. Monday afternoon becoming a category 1 typhoon or category 2 and on Tuesday afternoon May 14 which is very very highly uncertain not sure the probability is 0 to 10 to 10, less than 10 percent it shows this uh, here a powerful typhoon to the east of Bicol region not uh, directly affecting a Bicol region, but around uh, 300 to 500 kilometers away. But again, this is only one model. The rest of the models doesn't show anything, just a low pressure area for affecting eastern or southern Mindanao. So it's uh, still early to tell. We can call this a fantasy uh, forecast, highly uncertain. So there's no need to panic, no need to be... Uh, afraid okay we are here to g give you only the facts not fake news okay and uh, we will be back in the next couple of days probably by tuesday we'll be bringing you again new updates let's hope that this forecast will not uh, push through okay and uh, we just need some rains and uh, if ever, if it does develop, it will uh, just move over the Philippine Sea just like this. The track of this American model is uh, going this way. Okay. 
so we still don't know but it will give some relief of rainfall across the dry spell and drought stricken areas affected by El Nino across the Philippine Islands okay so uh, uh, here's the uh, ensemble this is one reason on why it's not yet expected to develop the ensemble is not fully uh, populated usually if we have a tropical cyclone developing in within the next uh, five to ten days the uh, ensemble is populated just uh, uh, it's just uh, like this it will be uh, too many trucks okay that's what we call ensemble but right now it's so uh, uh, but right now it's uh, too little so there's nothing to worry now if take a look at the rain forecast uh, still uh, for the next three days until Wednesday there might be some rain showers and thunderstorms along uh, very small areas of the country but on Wednesday there might be a strong one here over uh, Kariga uh, Davao uh, northern parts of Davao region Bukidnon area northern Mindanao so those are the areas that could uh, receive some severe thunderstorms light thunderstorms or moderate thunderstorms may also be expected over eastern Visayas portions of central and western Visayas Southern Tagalog provinces, including some portions of metropolitan Manila, Ilocos region, eastern sections of uh, Camarines Sur, and uh, Canaduanes, there might be some isolated thunderstorms, as well as northern Palawan and the Coron Boswanga area of the Calamian group of islands in Palawan. Okay, so uh, that's the forecast. So we still don't have any uh, heavy thunderstorms. For the next uh, three days and uh, for the uh, rainfall accumulation forecast the total rain for the whole country for the next three days shows here that most of the rainfall are concentrated over Mindanao okay but uh, small amounts as well as over uh, portions of central and western Visayas and for the wave forecast nothing uh, changes today tomorrow tuesday until wednesday may 8 the waves here over the east philippine sea facing uh, eastern philippines will remain uh, between 1 to 1 1.5 meters in wave height very uh, uh, mild or weak weak waves and suitable for fishing and sea travel as well as here over the inland waters it's very calm to about uh, 0.6 while over here over the west philippine sea it wave heights of uh, calm or 0 0.3 up to uh, 1.5 meters will be expected that includes Kalayan island group and the spotless so the those areas will remain uh, suitable for fishing and uh, wait, uh, let's see. sorry I'm just looking uh, down very suitable for fishing and the sea travel okay so that ends our update for today uh, Sunday a blessed Sunday to all again and uh, we will return in the next couple of days from Typhoon 2000 this is Mike Padua saying stay safe always drink lots of water to battle this heat index and prepare for the next few weeks we'll be experiencing uh, afternoon thunderstorms as the onset of the wet and rainy seasons is uh, approaching our country and we hope that uh, normal rainfall will occur and those affected by the drought and dry spell uh, regions of our country will get a relief from the life-saving rainfall which is a good sign in the coming uh, weeks. Good night to all. Have a great week ahead. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.